Hello, good evening, Maurice. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? How are you, Tony? Fine, fine, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Fine, fine. Um, All right. We have a few minutes to resolve the problem, and 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 then I'm going to go back to the to the classroom. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Tony. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, Maris, are you there? Uh, I don't know if Emerson is there. Let me see if Emerson is there. No. Maurice? Good evening, Vladimir. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay. Fine. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'm so. A little tired. Yes. Tired. Right. I imagine. Busy day. Okay. So let me see. I think that we have Mayra as well. Okay. Uh, let me see. Maurice, are you there? Mayra, are you there? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to my house right now. Ah, okay. So you are, you are just uh -huh, arriving. Okay. Let me see. Okay, guys. Uh, good we evening, have. Teacher. Good evening, Maurice. Okay. Um, we have Carlos Omar. Good evening. We have, well, Emerson is not, is not here because I don't see the microphone. I think that he's having issues. I see George. Okay. All right, guys. So welcome once again. We are going to start with our class. So today is Tuesday 11th, right? So we are going to start with uh, today's class. Then... For today's agenda, we have a different topic, okay, which is very interesting and is really um, easy, okay? It's not difficult. We have unit three, and we are going to cover causatives, yeah? We also have a speaking time. We have the listening quizzes. We have the grammar quiz, and we have the end of the class. And of course, uh, remember that we have the speaking time, okay? So we're going to start with the warm-up. And as a warm-up, we have this um actually information we need to spot the grammatical error yes we need to identify the grammatical error on these sentences yeah so we have number one and it says she asked me where am i going is this correct or incorrect she asked me, where am I going? Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. Okay, think for mm -hmm. some seconds. Uh -huh. Think, okay? She asked me, where am I going? Where I am going. Where I am going. Okay. Uh -huh. So, in this case, if you notice, okay, if you notice, we have the first sentence, right? She asked me. Which is the tense that we have on the first sentence, guys? Is it present, past, future? If you talk. Is this present, past, or future? This past. Past. Okay. Past. So it is past. And this is future. Future. But if this is past, yeah. 
present. Uh -huh. So this is past and this is future. No, we need to add past. So, ¿cómo sería lo correcto? Uh -huh. In past. Where I went. Where I was. Uh -huh. uh, yes, very good. So I, I heard somebody saying, okay, where I was going. Okay. Where I was going. Uh -huh. Donde yo estaba yendo, but in past. ¿A dónde iba? Where I was going. Number two, the old car needs fixing, but the new one doesn't. The coma? The coma? Yeah. Where? Fixing, fixing coma, but. Excellent. Very good. Okay. The old car needs fixing coma, but the new one doesn't. Very yeah. good. Yes. Number three. Okay. The coma. I'm going to add the coma. Number three. Huh? Uh, could you help me with this? Excellent. Could you help me with this? Because it is a question. Excellent, Marie. So could you help me with this? Excellent. Okay, number four. What is the mistake? Many children in poor countries don't help. Excellent. Don't have a chance to go to school. Very good. Yes, okay. What about number five, which is the mistake? Do we have a mistake? Mm -hmm. The number three is, could you help me with this? Yes. Could you help me with this? That is correct. Number three. Mm -hmm. Could you help me with this? It is a question, right? Mm -hmm. Number four. Yeah. And number five, what do you think? Mm -hmm. I swim in the sea whenever the weather is fine. Correct or incorrect? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think? Is it correct or incorrect? Mm. Or you don't know? Maybe. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe correct. Maybe correct, okay. Okay, so I swim in the sea whenever the weather is fine. It is correct, okay? Maybe we can improve this fine, okay? We can say, I swim in the sea whenever the weather is great. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes, use that word, okay? But, I mean, if you say fine, it is correct, okay? 
All right, guys, let's continue. Let's move, okay? And let's start with uh, the topic for today. So the topic for today, we are going to continue with unit three, which is branding. And we are going to start by talking about what is a weak brand, okay? So do you remember that yesterday we were covering about branding, the different information about branding? So let me ask you something, guys. What is branding? What is branding? From the information that we covered yesterday, tell me what is branding? Marca. All right, but with your own words, but in English. Uh, yeah. yeah. What is branding? It's the commercial name, the any product. Okay, of any product, okay, so. Um, why is branding important? Mm. Why is it important to have a strong brand? According to the information that we covered yesterday. Why is it important to have a strong brand? It is important to make a bond with the clients. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Thank you, Jose. And what is a weak brand? What is a weak brand? So a weak brand, it is a brand that lacks a strength and effectiveness in key areas such as market recognition, customer perception and competitive positioning, yeah? So a weak brand. Now, let me ask you, what are the characteristics that may indicate a weak brand? We have different characteristics that indicate a weak brand. Carlos Omar helps us reading the lack of awareness, Maurice, poor differentiation, Jose, low customer loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, then let me see if, Emerson, are you there? No? Mm -hmm. Wendy, are you there? Sorry. Hello. Hello. Okay, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, good evening. Are, are you there? Can you participate? Yes, miss, I'm ready. Thank you. Uh, then Emerson, can you please help us with negative perception? Uh, well, Wendy, I don't know if Wendy is there. Then Carlos Omar, again, limited market share and Maurice, weak brand uh, equity. Okay, light of awareness. <laughs> a, weak, a weak brand may have low levels of awareness among its target audience. This means that potential customer may not be familiar with the brand or have a little knowledge of the X products of, or service. Mm -hmm. Of services or services. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, poor differentiation. Wake up brown often struggle to the different, difference, differentiably, no. Differentiate? Differentiate, different from competitor. They competitors? Might have competitor. Mm -hmm. They might not have a clear and unique value proposition that sets them apart in the market. Mm -hmm. Okay. low customer loyalty. Weak brands may have difficulty building in retaining a loyal customer base. Yeah. Customers may not have strong emotional connections or brand loyalty, which can make it easier for them to switch to comparing, comparing brands. Mm -hmm. uh, Emerson, negative perception.
is Emerson there? Sorry, I have a problem. I read. Okay, go. Negative perception. A weak brand may be associated with negative perception or experience in the mind of consumer. Mm -hmm. This can be due to poor product quality, indicate customer service or lack of the consistent brand's messages. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Limited market share, Carlos. Me? Yes. Uh, Limited market share. Sure. Negative perception? No. Limited market share. Guys, I need to be focused. Yeah. Yes. Limited market share. Limited market share with brands typical, typically have a small market share and a struggle to gain to gain traction against stronger competitions. Mm -hmm. They may challenge in attract, attracting new customer and expanding their customer base. Thank you. Weak brand equity. With brand equity. Brand equity refers to the intangible value and reputation associated associate with a brand. With brands often have low brand equity. Equity. E e equity. Mm -hmm. equity. Equity. Yes. equity, meaning they lack a, the positive association, record, recognition, recognition, and truth that the stronger brands possess. Possess. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. So uh, the, um, the characteristics that may indicate a weak brand are basically six, right? So we have lack of awareness, poor differentiation, low customer loyalty, negative perception, limited market share, weak brand equity, okay? So those are some of the characteristics that we may encounter whenever we see a product or a brand which is weak, right? I mean, yes, and this is very understandable, right? Negative, uh, the negative perception that you may have about a brand, the low customer loyalty, absolutely, that prevents you, right, from building and retaining a loyal customer base. Uh -huh. So customers may not have a strong emotional connection. Yeah, what we actually talked about yesterday, we were covering the branding is actually the emotional connection that you have, right? With the brand as a customer. Mm -hmm. So it says right here, guys, um, limited market share. Weak brands typically have a small market share and they struggle to gain traction. What is the meaning of Gain traction. Gain traction means ganar terreno. All right? Gain traction. When you gain traction of something, usted gana terreno en algo. Gain traction. All right? Against a stronger competitors. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we can talk about weak brand equity as well. This refers to the intangible value and reputation associated with a brand, okay? Well, now let's talk about, guys, um, this is very important, okay? So we need to know that um, we have weak brands, but we need to keep in mind that a weak brand can still be improved and strengthened with a strategic brand management. Okay, so marketing efforts and a focus on customer experience. So if the brand is weak, good evening, Atilio. Good evening. I drive in one moment, please. Thank you. All right, so um, we need to know, guys, that if we have a weak brand, 
that doesn't mean that we cannot improve it. We, we are able to improve that brand, okay? How? Well, in this case, we need to follow some important steps in recognizing areas for improvement and implementing strategies to enhance brand strengths and effectiveness, all right? So we are able to turn into uh, the weak brand into a, a strong brand, okay? If we follow uh, different strategies, okay? Now, Let's continue and let's talk about the following. Is a weak brand a good investment? What do you think about that? All right. If I tell you right now and you know that my, my brand is weak, would you invest? Uh -huh. Investment means inversion, guys. Right? So is a weak brand a good investment? What do you think? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. So I if we know, huh? yes, go. It is a bad investment because the brand is not attractive to mm -hmm. customers. Customers. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is a the mean is devil, verdad? The marca devil. Yes, uh -huh. devil. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Okay, mm, but it depends, right? It depends. I mean, on the strategies. Okay, but we need to know that a weak brand, as Mayra said, right? It has negative perception, low customer loyalty lack of awareness nobody actually knows about the brand right because it's weak all right so but is a weak brand a good investment mm, okay might I help us reading this okay investing in a weak brand can be a risky a risky proposition while every investment carries its own set of factor in consideration, consideration, weak brand generally face challenge in terms of market recognition, mm -hmm. customer loyalty, and competitive advantage. Advantage, right? Yeah. So generally, generally, generally. Okay. Excellent. Generally. Yes, well, in this case, um, it says that investing in a weak brand can be a risky proposition. What is proposition? Uh -huh. Proposition. Proposition means propuesta. Okay. So it says that it is risky. Yes, it is risky, right? Mm -hmm. So why? Because uh, weak brands most of the time face challenges, right? In terms of market recognition, customer loyalty and competitive advantage. So it is risky. Now let's move and let's talk about what happens when a brand does not meet customer expectations. Okay, so let me ask you guys, when uh, a brand, right? When a brand does not meet your expectations, what happens? Yeah, what happens? No sales. No sales, right? Satisfaction. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, okay, dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. 
Decided. The cells? Decline. 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 The cells decline. Very good. According. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Bad investment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Well, okay. Now um, let's take a look at some things uh, that actually happen. Yes, when a brand does not meet customer expectations. So it says that when a brand fails to meet customer expectations, it can have various consequences for the brand and its relationship with customers. So right now we are going to read some potential outcomes. Yeah, hey, Mayra? Help us reading customer dissatisfaction and lost customers. Carlos Omar, negative word of mouth and damage to brand image. And Maris, decline in sales and revenue and need for brand repair and recovery. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Customer dissatisfaction. If a brand cons consistently faults short a customer expectation, it can lead to the customer dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. This can result in an in negative reviews, complaints, and a decline in a customer loyalty. Lost customer. When a brand consistently fails to meet expectation, customers may choose to switch to competing to competing brands that offer better products, service, or ex experience. Mm -hmm. This can lead to a loss of customer and market share. Yes. Thank you. Ne neg negative word of mouth. Yes. Dissatisfied customers are more likely to share their negative experience with the others, both in person and through online platforms. Negative words of mouth can damage a brand's reputation and makes it harder to attract new customers. Mm -hmm. Damage to brand's image. Falling to meet customer expectations can harm a brand's image and perceptions in the market. It can create doubts about the brand credibility, credibility. Mm -hmm. rely, 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 rely in overall Re reliability, rely, reliability, and okay. reliability, reliability, and mm -hmm. overall quality. Okay, thank you, Carlos. The client side and uh, revenue. When a customer are disappointed with a brown, they may reduce their purchase or stop buying from the brown altogether. This can result in the in a decline in sale in sales and renewal for the company. Mm -hmm. need, need for brown repair and recover. Brand that consist consistently yes. fire to meet customer expectation may need to in invest resources in brand repair and recovery for. This could involve addressing product or service issue improving customer support or uh, a, a posit uh, repositioning repositioning the brown in the market yes okay guys well in this case um this are the different things that can happen right whenever a brand does not meet a customer's expectations 
the most common ones, customer dissatisfaction, right? This one is the most common one. So this can result in negative reviews. That's why we have seen many negative reviews. Yeah, about different brands, complaints, many complaints, and a decline in customer loyalty because that's the outcome, right? Customer dissatisfaction. Uh -huh. And then the loss of customers, right? They lose customers. And once they lose customers, then we have negative word of mouth. And when we have negative word of mouth, we have the damage to the brand image. Uh -huh. And when people actually have the negative word of mouth, of course, the sales are going to decline. And the last step that they are going to take they need uh -huh, to repair and recover the brand, which is something bad, right? And that happens also with the personal brand, right? You as a person. So this is very important, guys, right? So let's move and let's talk about uh, this short conversation that we have from the book. Yeah. And pay attention to the different phrases that we have highlighted. Yeah. So we have Andrea and Vincent. Mayra, please be Andrea and Vincent Carlos Omar. Okay. What, watch this video TV ads. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feature like, they are very popular feeder they are very popular at work i will never get a pair of those they are too expensive okay i wouldn't either but a brand that delivers what it promised make customer buy it's, it's regal, re, regardless of pre, of price. Uh -huh. Maybe they really make you faster. Uh -huh. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to... To see? What? Okay, so to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, uh, pronunciation first, okay? So in this case, a uh, feather, okay? Feather, 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 feather. Uh, this one is popular, popular, popular. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this one, department, department department uh -huh. okay so it says um okay look at the conversation and complete the sentences below guys a brand that delivers what it promises uh -huh. and a customer by it regardless Oh. Yes, and that is true. That is true, guys. A brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. If you see a good brand, right? So you say, I'm going to buy it. I don't really focus on the price, right? I'm going to buy this because I know that this is a good brand and you pay it regardless of the price, right? Number two, they, Feel of these people to buy. Excellent. They get all these people to buy 
their shoes. And do you agree with the first statement that says, uh -huh. this part, this part, do you agree with that? It says, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. What is that? Make you float like a feather. Do you think that we can find shoes that can make you float like a feather? What is that idiom about? That is an idiom. What is it? It's so very light. Okay, it is. Uh -huh. They are very light. Uh -huh. They are very comfortable, right? Uh -huh. oh. For your feet, yes, very comfortable for your feet. Uh -huh. Yes, I think that we can find those type of shoes. I think that is. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. So look at this, all right? Those uh, phrases that are highlighted, yeah? We have make you flow, makes customers buy, get all these people uh, to buy, yeah? So, um, guys, in English, we have this uh, grammar part that we call causatives, yes, causatives. And what are causatives? I'm pretty sure that you have heard this before, yes? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we have used them. So causatives are often used to describe situations where someone arranges, forces, or influences another person to do something. They can also be used to describe actions that are performed by professionals or experts on behalf of the subject, yeah? Um, in English, there are different ways to express causatives, okay? The most common ones are those two. It says, how to use causative verbs part one. This is the first part, okay? We have two verbs, two principal verbs that we can use to create causatives. So the first one is make, and the other one is get. Yes, and we have this structure. Make plus someone plus verb in base form. Look at this. The marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. So the department makes, right, employees, yes? The someone, who? Employees. Verb in base form, revise, complement. What? Goals and metrics every month. Yeah? So make someone do something. The Poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The poor identity of the brand made, simple past. We can use it in present and past. Mm -hmm. huh? Yes. Mm -hmm. The brand experience offered by Samsung may consumers prefer their mobile phones. Uh -huh. Those are causatives. I mean, you have used this structure before, right? I'm pretty sure that we have used them before. Uh -huh. But the name of this type of grammar is causatives. Yeah, that's the name. Ese es el nombre que se le da, okay? Ese es el nombre que se le da a ese tipo de estructura con make and get. And then we have 
get someone plus infinitive. And look at the difference, guys. Here it says, make someone verb in base form. And here, get someone plus infinitive. And you know what is the infinitive? The infinitive is whenever you add two. This is infinitive. This is base form without two, okay? So it says, I can get customers to love our premium services. I can get customers to love our premium services. The project manager said it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a short time. Yes. And then the advertising events will get people to order products online more often. So when you see the verb get or make on this type of a structure, it is causatives, okay? So, and causatives are often used to describe situations where someone arranges forces or influences another person to do something. This is very important. Here, the marketing department, basically, I would say forces, right? Employees. Revise goals and metrics every month. Yeah. And that's why those are called causatives. Now, let's uh, take a look at more examples. Okay. It says, I make my children do their homework every day. I make my children, so I make, make, the verb, my children, this is someone who, my, ch my children, what do, the verb in base form, their homework every day. She makes her employees wear uniforms. Yeah, she makes. They make him clean the dishes after dinner. So in the middle, if you notice, needs to be someone. Yeah. So we have, they make him, she makes her, I make my children. I make him. A study for the exam. She made her children clean their rooms. The teacher made us redo. Redo means rehacer, guys. This is a good term. You need to redo it. Redo it is do it again. The teacher made us redo the assignment. Redo. Okay. So notice the structure. Okay. Notice the structure. Focus on the structure. Yes. Uh -huh. And then we have base form, base form, base form, base form, base form, base form. Do you have questions? Do you have doubts? No? Or teacher, I don't get it. Would you repeat, please? Yes, of course. Okay. So we have causatives. Yes, 
And causatives is just the term that we use for those type of um, sentences, okay? Whenever, whenever we want to describe situations where someone arranges forces or influences another person to do something, those are called in English causatives, yes? Now, for example, in this case, um, the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. So the marketing department does not perform. The marketing department doesn't perform this action. La persona que lo ordena, la persona que básicamente fuerza que influencia, influencia. Ajá, no hace esto, sino que hace que otra persona haga lo que él quiere. ¿Eh? Yeah. Yes. So, básicamente eso es las causatives. Hacer que otra persona haga lo que usted desea. ¿Sí? No lo hace usted, lo hace alguien más. Y utilizamos make and get. ¿Ok? ¿Mm? Ahora, eh, in this case, eh, fíjese bien estos ejemplos. Dice, I make my children do their homework every day. Yes. Yo hago que mis hijos, porque my children mis hijos en ese contexto, right? So I make my children do their homework every day. Yes. Ellos hacen eso porque yo quiero que ellos hagan su tarea todos los días. She makes her employees wear uniforms. Uh, this is like I would say like a rule. Es una regla, entonces es como algo que uno eh, básicamente forza, right? So she makes her employees wear uniforms. They make him clean the dishes after dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, uh -huh. they make him clean the dishes after dinner. So forces. Most of the time, I think that is going to be forced, right? I made my sister clean the house every again. Yes, it is okay. It is okay. And remember that we can have three type of contexts, right? One, arrange, force, or influence. Arrange is like organized. Es como que se organiza que esta persona haga eso. Aquí es que usted forza que esta persona haga eso. Y aquí usted influencia a la persona para que haga la limpieza, su hermano, en este caso. It depends on the, uh, whenever you uh, uh, say it, right? La entonación que usted le dé. Ahí es donde vamos a identificar si es cualquiera de esos tres. But in grammar, no, it, it is the same, right? Lo podemos tomar como cualquiera. So, um, she made her children clean their rooms and the teacher made us free to the assignment. But in this case, I think that is force. Force, right? Yeah, force. Okay, so let's see, let's move. And now we have examples with um, get. This is get, it's not make. I made my son, yes, Tony, that is correct, okay? Those are examples with get, okay? I get my brother to, yes, yes. In this case, um, with get, we can use the infinitive, okay? But sometimes it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory, okay? But most of the time, 
Um, I would say that we can use to infinitive. So I get my brother to pick up groceries on his way home. He gets his car service regularly. Okay. We get our dog room uh, once a month. I got my hair cut. This one is the most common one. Me cortaron el cabello, right? Me cortaron el cabello. Cuando se dice, me fue a cortar el, el cabello. I got my hair cut. Esa es la, la traducción. I got my hair cut. Porque no lo hizo usted. Alguien más se lo cortó. I got my hair cut. Uh -huh. They got their house painted. And she got her car repaired. Okay. So as you can see, in this case, you don't do the action. I mean, somebody else does the action. Yes, Tony. Teacher, um, I'm confused with the, not with the get, and the use of the get. I'm confused with the use of the got. Ah, okay. When we use get and when we use got. Oh, yes. Okay. So, got is whenever it is something that uh, passes already. It passed. Ya pasó. Okay. Simple past. Uh -huh. okay. 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 Uh -huh. Look and at this. Is in the present. Okay. Correct. Uh -huh. And get is in the present. And got is in the past. The same as this one, right? Made present, made past. Uh -huh. Make present, made, past. So get present and got past. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's move and let's work on the exercises that we have from the book. Just remember that on the book we have that we use make with a base form of the verb and get with infinitive. That's what the book says, right? So let's see. Number one, customer's attention makes companies try every sort of a strategy. Make and try, right? In this case, makes because this is singular. Attention. Number two, marketing helps businesses get Customer, customers to buy, to buy. excellent so here it will be to get to buy because it's get and the book says that we use a get with infinitive uh -huh. number three make and like we can't Like people make our products? No, the make goes first. We can't make people make, make. like our products without mm -hmm. the right strategy. A strategy. Very good. Yeah. So um, in this case, a Remember that we're going to add make or get always at the beginning because that is the structure for us to have the causative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, number four, online stores get their, get their loyal, loyal customer. customer to help with advertising events. Events. Very good. Excellent. Online stores get their loyal customers to help with advertising events. Number five, the marketing director make, make, makes, makes people vote for the best ads. Excellent. Yes. Uh -huh. And the last one. Top businesses make their employees take 
constant training on marketing. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. So you see? And yes, that is the overview of cost of tips. Yes, okay. And um, this is the overview because guys, with the causative, we have different structures, okay? This is an overview of causatives, yeah? Um, okay. Do me a favor and can you please create one sentence using this first structure and this structure in the second one? So two sentences, one with this one and one with this one. Yeah. And send it to the chat here on Zoom. Okay. I'll give you uh, five minutes. Okay. So you can think about the idea. Follow the example. Okay, let me see. Oh, Jonathan, that one will be, I get my sister to love me. I get my sister to love me. And... Yes. I made my son tidy up the bed every morning. I made my sister do the housework. Yes, Abigail. He makes her father. Okay, I make my son do my summer. My wife made breakfast every Sunday. Okay, very good, uh, Emerson.
my wife, in this case, makes. Makes. Okay, I got it. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Makes. Yeah. Like before she makes. Yeah, okay. I forgot the S. Okay. Yeah. I made my son do his homework. She makes her father by my car. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, my mother makes okay um all right guys well i think that uh, in this case um okay we're going to reinforce this topic, all right? Um, right now, what we're going to do is that I'm going to take the attendance and then we're going to take the listening quizzes that we have, okay? So we have two listening quizzes and um, one grammar quiz. The grammar quiz is not about causatives, okay? It is about something very easy for you. Um, let's see. So say present, please. Um, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Atilio. Um, Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Díaz. I saw Vladimir, but maybe he's not there. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Yes. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Uh, George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Carla Sofia Argueta Chévez. Um, let me see if Carla connected. Oh, I saw a message from Carla. Mm -hmm. She no. said yesterday that uh, she feels uh, like sick. Sick. Maybe. Maybe um, because this is the reason that it's not here. Yes, uh -huh. I saw a message, but she didn't connect. Okay. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enriquez. <coughs> yes, I think that he's a present. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Yes. Um, thank you. Nelly Livet Andrade Arcia. Uh -huh. Present. Thank you. Raul Antonio Jordan. Let me see. Yes. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. Yes, I think that, that Wendy is there. Okay. All right, guys, let's uh, take the first listening quiz, okay? Carla is listening. Yeah, is my is listener. Is that a listener right here? Uh -huh. Ah, yes. And who is not connected then? Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel, right. But I saw Luis. But it's not here. Okay, so I'm going to. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, guys, let's take the first listen. Okay. There you go. That one is the link. And the passcode is listening. Capital letters. Okay. Um, I'm going to play this recording twice. Yeah, two times. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, let me know once you're ready so I can play the, the audio. Sure, I won't be able because I'm still driving. Okay, thank you, Raul. All right. Okay, then the other ones, let me know if you're ready. Ready, okay, perfect. Here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay. The last time. Oh, hi, Dave. Long time no see. Hi, Maria. I was in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop by. Come on in. Thanks. Take a seat. Would you like anything to drink? I have Sprite or orange juice. Sprite would be fine. Uh, so, how have you been? Oh, not bad. And you? Uh, I'm doing okay. But school has been really hectic these days, and I haven't had time to relax. By the way, what's your major anyway? Hotel management. Well, what do you want to do once you graduate? Uh, I haven't decided for sure, but I think I'd like to work for a hotel or travel agency in this area. How about you? Well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French. But I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. Oh. With the right skills, landing a job in the computer industry shouldn't be as difficult. So, do you have a part-time job to support yourself through school? Well, fortunately for me, I received a four-year academic scholarship wow. that pays for all of my tuition and books. Wow, that's great. Yeah. How about you? Are you working your way through school? Yeah, I work three times a week at a restaurant near campus. Oh, what do you do there? I'm a cook. How do you like your job? It's okay. The other workers are friendly and the pay isn't bad. Okay, ready? Are not ready. Okay, submit your answers, okay? Let me see. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I can see that most of you fail on number two, the second one. Yeah, most of you on the second one. Because she said first that he was a mayor in French, but then she changed to the uh, science, no sé qué cosa. Yes, a computer 
science. But I I think that she she was finished the 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 French. Mm. Um, I don't know. It, it, the first time I put the the correct answer in the second listening mm -hmm. and changed to the to the the French because mm -hmm. she say that it was a major, but I I don't understand this part. Is is she? Finish it or not finish it, the, the major in French. Uh -huh. Okay, well, in this case, um, it was, this is a conversation, right? This is what uh, she said. This is a part that actually she mentioned. It says, well, when I first started college, I wanted to major in French, but... I realized I might have a hard time finding a job using the language. So I changed majors to computer science. So at the end, yeah, it was this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Now let's take the second one, okay? The second quiz, the second one. And the same thing, okay? So the passcode is going to be listening capital letters, okay? And I'm going to play this three times, okay? Three times. Okay. Okay, guys. And let me know once you are ready. Ready. Okay, perfect. Three times. Okay, I'm going to play three times. Here we go. Hey, Jake, are you ready for your trip? Well, not really. I still have to buy some clothes. Well, what's the weather like where you're going? Well, uh, it's really hot in the summer, so I'm going to buy some shorts, sandals, and a few t-shirts. What about the rest of the year? People say the fall can still be warm until November, so I'm going to buy some jeans and a few casual shirts. Will you need any warm clothes for the winter? Well, the weather doesn't get too cold, but it often snows in the mountains, so I'm going to buy a couple of warm sweaters, a jacket, and a hat. I don't have room in my suitcase to pack a coat, so I'm going to wait until I get there and buy it when I really need it. Are you going to take anything else? They say it rains cats and dogs in the spring, but again, I'll probably just wait and pick up a raincoat or an umbrella later on. But I'm going to take a good pair of shoes because I plan on walking to and from school every day. Do you need any clothing for formal occasions? Well, you never know when you might need something on the spur of the moment for a wedding or maybe someone's graduation or a nice date. <laughs> so I'll probably take some nice slacks, a dress shirt, and a couple crazy ties or two. That makes sense. And I'll just rent a tuxedo if I need anything more formal. Hey! Maybe I'll get married. You? Married? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? I, I just can't imagine you getting decked out in a tuxedo for any formal occasion. What? I mean, for high school graduation, you wore an old pair of jeans and tennis shoes. Hey, there was a reason for that, so let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> no, really. See, it goes like this. Okay, again. Hey, Jake, are you ready for your trip? Well, not really. I still have to buy some clothes. Well, what's the weather like where you're going? Well, uh, it's really hot in the summer, so I'm going to buy some shorts, sandals, and a few t-shirts. What about the rest of the year? People say the fall can still be warm until November, so I'm going to buy some jeans and a few casual shirts. Will you need any warm clothes for the winter? Well, the weather doesn't get too cold. But it often snows in the mountains, so I'm going to buy a couple of warm sweaters, a jacket, and a hat. I don't have room in my suitcase to pack a coat, so I'm going to wait until I get there and buy it when I really need it. Are you going to take anything else? They say it rains cats and dogs in the spring. But again, I'll probably just wait and pick up a raincoat or an umbrella later on. But I'm going to take a good pair of shoes because I plan on walking to and from school every day. Do you need any clothing for formal occasions? Well, you never know when you might need something on the spur of the moment for a wedding or maybe someone's graduation or a nice date. <laughs> so I'll probably take some nice slacks, a dress shirt, and a couple crazy ties or two. That makes sense. And I'll just rent a tuxedo if I need anything more formal. Hey, 
Maybe I'll get married. You married? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? I, I just can't imagine you getting decked out in a tuxedo for any formal occasion. What? I mean, for high school graduation, you wore an old pair of jeans and tennis shoes. Hey, there was a reason for that, so let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. See, it goes like this. Okay, the last time. Hey, Jake, are you ready for your trip? Well, not really. I still have to buy some clothes. Well, what's the weather like where you're going? Well, uh, it's really hot in the summer, so I'm going to buy some shorts, sandals, and a few t-shirts. What about the rest of the year? People say the fall can still be warm until November, so I'm going to buy some jeans and a few casual shirts. Will you need any warm clothes for the winter? Well, the weather doesn't get too cold. But it often snows in the mountains, so I'm going to buy a couple of warm sweaters, a jacket, and a hat. I don't have room in my suitcase to pack a coat, so I'm going to wait until I get there and buy it when I really need it. Are you going to take anything else? They say it rains cats and dogs in the spring. But again, I'll probably just wait and pick up a raincoat or an umbrella later on. But I'm going to take a good pair of shoes because I plan on walking to and from school every day. Do you need any clothing for formal occasions? Well, you never know when you might need something on the spur of the moment for a wedding or maybe someone's graduation or a nice date. <laughs> so I'll probably take some nice slacks, a dress shirt, and a couple crazy ties or two. That makes sense. And I'll just rent a tuxedo if I need anything more formal. Hey, maybe I'll get married. You? Married? <laughs> Wait, what are you trying to say? I, I just can't imagine you getting decked out in a tuxedo for any formal occasion. What? I mean, for high school graduation, you wore an old pair of jeans and tennis shoes. Hey, there was a reason for that, so let me explain. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. See, it goes like this. Okay. Okay, very good. I can see that um, most of you got 100, okay? Very good. All right, guys. Now, let's take the last quiz for today, which is grammar, okay? Let's say the grammar one. Um, there you go. And the passcode for that one is going to be grammar. Capital letters. Okay, let's take that one. Um,
All right, guys. Um, do you have any question about this quiz? No? Okay, I can see that most of you got 100, okay? So if you got less than 80, um, we need to reinforce simple present tense, okay? Um, but very good job. Okay, I can see that most of you got um, 100, yeah? Okay, so now let's move and let's go to the speaking time, okay? So for the speaking part of today, we have different questions, all right? So we have um, questions about the topic that we are covering, yeah? So can you think of any examples of strong brands? What makes them stand out? What was the meaning of stand out? What was the meaning of this phrasal verb? Stand out. Sobresalir. Very good, sobresalir, thank you. How important do you think branding is for a company's success, right? Do you have a favorite brand? What do you like about it? Yeah, we have a couple of questions about branding and we have extra questions about uh, general topics as well, right? So I want you to practice. We are going to practice and then we are going to come back, okay? So if you cannot participate in the speaking practice, it's okay, you stay here, but if you're able to participate, you may go to the breakout rooms, okay? Okay. Hello, Maurice, Will, and Atilio. Hello. Hoy no ve la ni la cabeza. Es que me queda muy alto, Tony. Usted sabe. Atilio and Maurice only, only showed the top of the hill. Big top. Pero, we are going to talk about okay. Can you think of any ex can you think of any example of a strong brands? What makes them stand out? Podría usted pensar en algunos ejemplos de unas marcas marcas fuertes? Uh, recording in progress. Wendy, are you there? Uh, Maybe no. Okay, no I problem. Think. Okay, I think about one one uh, example of a strong brand. Super repuestos. Yeah. Um, the Coca Cola. And the Coca Cola and Pepsi Coca Cola. Cola. Um, Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Is better Pepsi for you, Atilio? I know. Better uh, for you. <laughs> better for me too. <laughs> uh, better for you. Uh, um, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And what another, um, Maurice? Mm. Another strong brand. You think uh, Sony? Maybe Sony, yes, yeah, like in in the in in products like televisions are very yeah. very good and expensive. It's the most expensive brand of of TVs, plasma TV, yeah. CD TV, and the newest 4K, 8K. I you know say que más que, but but the the newest is the most expensive. Um, Sony. Okay, what makes them stand out? What makes Sunny to success? Succeed. Ah, su para 
tener para succeed para, para triunfar. Ser ver, Ajá, ¿no? como eh, succeed para triunfar, ser exitoso. Ok, to succeed. Uh -huh. Éxito yeah. de una empresa. En uh -huh. uh, el caso, um, they have. Um, man, how do you say mantenido? Maintain, but, but depends the, the context. Eh, mantener, eso en el tiempo. Uh, uh, maintain. They maintain for a long time. Uh, they maintain from tries a sense of the witch and touch of modernist. Repeat again, please. Uh, <laughs> Es que me confundí y no le entendí, pero, pero, pero trato de entender la idea. Que han mantenido la esencia, o un toque del modernismo, han mantenido la esencia of the wish and touch of modernism. Ah, oh, chipa, qué filosófico está hoy, don Atil. Me parece. Me parece. I, I am me. Okay. okay. But you are talking okay. about the Sony or the Pepsi? Um, and you Pepsi. are more colloquial with Pepsi, like Sony. Um, uh, no, I'm Pepsi. Um, <laughs> okay. In, in okay. case the Sony, uh -huh. they are uh, always at the forefront of the technology. Okay. They develop so much the... Um, the products and expand about the technology yeah. and, and use the technology to expand the the um, the production okay 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 for example um when i i told about super repuestos um third one is the the second brand in el salvador to introduce um no sé cómo se dice repuestos maybe it's complements repairs parts of the vehicles um because the first uh -huh. one is la casa del repuesto but they are more intelligent to introduce different brands that are more cheapest than the la casa del repuesto sold and in this case, they introduce Taiwanese, Korean, and Japanese products and expand with different branches around El Salvador. Um, because my father was a mechanic, I remember very, very well when my father only buy the parts, repairs, uh, in super repuestos because they are more cheaper. The brand, the brand, the pajarito. Yes, exactly. exactly. <laughs> are cheaper. Don't it are cheaper or are, were cheaper? Are cheaper. Are cheaper. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. cheaper. Okay, cheaper. Yes. Y repuesto se puede decir spare parts or replacement parts. Replacement, replacement parts. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, spare parts es la otra, yeah. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Correct. Replacement part. Okay. Me identifico más como replacement part. Okay. okay. How important do you think branding is for a company success? Yes. How important? A low important. Uh, different function. you about, about them. Yes. Yes, I think I think same to Nelly because nowadays uh all company have uh, in to invert in the marketing invest in best in yes. yes in the marketing for to promote uh the brand I think the brand is is very important because and help to build build 
a truth and credibility, credibility, eh, credibilidad. And, and to este, eh, connect with the with the customer, and maybe to to can be easier to understand the me the message. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think the the branding is that the best way to impress market range. I think to the the brand of every every company it made the the difference of the other of the other brand. For example, uh, Coca Cola is is a, a difference of the other Pepsi example. Uh, mm -hmm. Many customers uh, like uh, Coca Cola. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite brand? What do you think about it? Mm. Mm, depends. <laughs> depends uh, about um, what product we talk. But mm. yes, I have um, many different brands. And for me, the best quality for um, a brand it's um the quality <laughs> the quality and the quality of um it's fisher i think and um the result that the product give to the people use Okay, in my case, mm -hmm. I, in my case, I, I like the 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 telephone Samsung. Always, <laughs> always, I I have your Samsung, never Nokia, never Sony Ericsson. I don't like. Okay. Um, in uh. My favorite uh, brand of shoe is Nike. Uh, yes. But I never use another brand, for example, Adidas or New Balance. Yes. Um, and in the makeup, I always I use... Uh, <laughs> 50 from... Rihanna. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no, it's the uh, um, maquillaje de revista, no sé. Mm. Like, like level. <laughs> no sé. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, and what do you like about it? About the level makeup? about the my shoes in the shoes i i choose a nike nike brand for the um, durability yeah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. In the case, I like the, the telephone Samsung because the quality is good. The in casual. Okay. Uh -huh. Aha. And if you if you want to uh, mention a brand of jeans, what is the top of the mind of you in 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 your hand? In, in your in your head one brand of jeans ah uh, Levi's Levi's is 
Yeah. Is the most Docker. common? Doc uh -huh. Docker. Exactly. Maybe Docker's mm, yeah. list. Uh, 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 and uh, 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 Lawrence. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but the wow. most common, but the most common uh, jeans remember. That, that we buy and use is Levi's. Yes. Levi's. Yeah, is that is the reason that when you um mention a, a brand of with with um with success in the in the sales, you um preferred a brand that you know better and the quality is better too. In this case, it's yeah. Levi's. Okay. Do you have a favorite brand? What do you like about it? Think your favorite brand about any product. What is your favorite brand? Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> If you are talking about uh, drinks, Pepsi is for Atilio. And what do you like about it? Um, es lo que le gusta acerca de. Because um, I work in. In, in half of the senses. In the half of? In, in senses. O sea, yo trabajo ahí en pura esencia. Uh, um, <laughs> chispas. ¿Cómo, cómo lo traducería? How, how, how long do you work in Pepsi, eh, Atilio? ¿Cuánto um, tiempo trabajó usted en Pepsi? Um, seven years. Seven years. Yes. Okay. And in Claro, how long time do you um, work? Seven years. Nine? No, seven. Seven years. Seven years in Claro? Yes. And seven years in Pepsi? Yes. Ah, okay. Why do you love Pepsi at this time? If, um, if the time is... Si el tiempo ha pasado, if the time is... No, 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 and, and, and Morsa, seven years, on, sí, también, el número perfecto, yo, oh, ah, okay. Ah, ok, I got it, and I'm afraid about you, yes, <laughs> number, number perfect, seven, seven years, two, seven, in, seven, in, seven. claro, ok, your time is done, <laughs> ah, ya, como se dice, casi, ya se le acabó el tiempo, eh, claro. Your time is done. C casi, casi. ¿Cómo se dice? <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> Almost done. <laughs> okay, no, okay. No, I don't know. I don't know. The love for Pepsi needs to convert to love for Claro. Yes. Okay. Uh, in your uh, in, in your experience, Maurice, what uh, what is your favorite brand? Uh... And my favorite brand is the Coca Cola. <laughs> In drinks, okay. Yeah. Okay. You are very healthy people because you prefer a, a soda like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 And What? for me, only soda. <laughs> okay. The, no. I, I talk about that you are a healthy people. Ustedes son una gente muy, muy saludable. Because you prefer <laughs> soda like, like beer. Porque ustedes prefieren bebida gaseosa que, que, que cerveza. Okay. And what do you like about it? About Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola and the different branches uh, and the different brands like um, maybe uh, Fanta and... and ah. Um, what do you think? For me, Fanta. Fanta better than Fanta. Coca Cola. Yeah, it's okay. better. It's better Fanta, naranja. Okay. Fanta orange. But why? What? Por qué? O sea, por qué le gusta? I don't know. <laughs> it depends in the commercial in television. Is that pure merchandising? Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, okay. Let's move to the next speaking time. Item. For the for the nostalgia. 
<laughs> to brand. Okay. Why does branding influence your purchasing decision? How does branding influence your purchasing decision? Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, tell me. Or the no brand is palabra. not necessary for you and you make a decision uh, without the branding. Almost yeah. always. Almost always. ¿Cómo? Uh, Sorry. Casi siempre. Casi siempre. Almost always. Right. ¿Cómo influye la marca? Para que usted se ah, ah, ah. Ajá. How does? ¿Cómo? Mm, yeah. I'm going to talk to you about one experience for me. Yes. Uh, recently, my my fridge is 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 broke is broke. Se arruinó. And when I go to 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 repair the 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 the, um, the reparation is too expensive and we decide to buy a new fridge my wife says says that she needs a fridge that be more with more amplitude or, or more large with two doors and uh, that's all that that she needs one one door for the for the fridge and one door for the ¿Cómo se dice? how do you say freezer freeze and fridge this is the the, the, the correct name teacher yes okay for one door for freeze and one door for fridge yes and it's okay no problem for me and but what brand we choose in this case? Uh, I prefer brand Samsung because they have uh, inverter technology and the most lowest cost um, between the energy saving um, option. And in this case, I only have one option, Samsung. For my wife, I have Samsung, Mave, Whirlpool, um, what another another brand? Uh, Samsung, Mave, Whirlpool, LG, LG. Uh, uh, she she looks every every brand and uh, with different uh, types and models. She likes uh, maybe alls, but uh, I I have a. Um, uh, a decision about the, the the new fridge that we need to be with energy saver and and the lowest cost. This is the 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 influence of the branding because you have a good technology uh inverter technology that means that they consume less power or energy and uh, they have a this brand have a a good design and uh, very spa spacious, spacious, spacious. Yes. The other characteristic is uh, durability. Durability, exactly, yeah. and the guarantee. And, and we buy yeah. the and the, the guarantee. Uh, the uh, we buy the the um, the fridge in Siman because they have a, a extended guarantee. What you need to pay for them, but. For, for that but but it doesn't matter if you have a, a warranty that uh, cover all the 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 product and and different options that of damage they uh, change the product uh -huh, they change the, the product. they change the product mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is for the reason other new exactly exactly and this is the reason that when the branding is so important for me uh, in in right. my decision not purchase yeah exactly okay and for you Atilio and Maurice is the branding 
uh, important mm -hmm. to to make yeah. a, a, a different and influence or or decision of purchase yes uh, an influence um brand it, it's it's almost way influences because brand lasts longer than one auction the other oh. the other are worth more more guarantee <laughs> sorry yeah, um, for me, a uh, reference uh, to clothing and uh, such a, as a size and uh, durability, the clothes, and uh, it can different color. Okay. For me, I like. Okay. Do uh maybe uh, Jose Bernardo is is available to to um to share with with us uh, your opinion about this 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 item? Or maybe no. Do you think a company brand image affect its reputation? Why or why not? ¿Usted piensa que la imagen. imagen de marca de la compañía afecta su reputación? ¿Por qué y por qué no? Yeah, I think, yes. Pero la reputación de la marca, ¿verdad? Yes, of course. Uh, when I make, when I have a... When I have a branding, eh, llama la atención. What, what you say? What? Creo que aquí lo que nos está preguntando es que cree que si la imagen afecta su reputación. Yeah, for me, yes. ¿Usted cree que la imagen afecta su reputación? Uh -huh. La reputación tanto para lo bueno como lo malo. O sea, the, the reputation... The, could be a good uh, option or a bad option. But in this case, we think about uh, uh, the good reputation uh, uh, affects the the the, um, the company or no. Um, if you think about maybe in that case, what is the name of the of the of the factory of cells uh, for full cell of power of for cars that that have a bad influence in 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 Quesaltepeque or, or creo que en Quesaltepeque uh, baterías record do yes. you remember yeah. that yeah yeah yes. okay um, baterías record is a is a is a case of a study in the universities for a bad reputation that they um, they close or the or the um, the store when they say ban, when they uh shows the 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 batteries or the cell powers and and change the name of the of the service centers uh they call the central services record and and now is the barbell or another brand yeah. um uh -huh, but the 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 batteries are sold in these places, but not with with the with the name of record, and they have have made changes to 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 change their reputation of the bad remember, el mal recuerdo, but the the bad perception of the of the brand. Maybe this is a a, a case of a study of uh, when the brand affect its reputation, and in this case, yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah. I think uh, that affected reputation because uh, uh, the action because uh, lo, lo desperdicio contaminaron los ríos de San Juan. Exactly. And the, 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 the pollution of the water. Waters, uh -huh. The quality of the waters with plumb in, in the in the uh -huh. mm -hmm. hey, hey. 
Ajá, ajá. Porque me hizo muy plomo. Exacto. Yes. Ok. Yes. Yes, in this case, I think that yeah, this affects in, in positive way or negative way. Yes, I believe uh, the, the, the imaging of a brand affects of positive or negative. And in case a uh, uh, battery record uh -huh. or, or um, a brand Toyota, manejalo mal. Trátalo. <laughs> Do you remember when the Coca-Cola in the 80s changed the flavor of the Coca-Cola? Well, flavor. Ajá, cambiaron el sabor de la Coca-Cola. Mm, no remember. Do you uh, don't remember? Uh, 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 Is when change, the Pepsi, Pepsi brand Pepsi, um, flavor. when the Pepsi brand start up to to they increase incredibly in the form in in the in in imagine imaginative in in imagity in I, I know I want to use another uh, another sign name uh, and the, Pepsi, the sales yeah, of and Pepsi um, blow up to the stars when the Coca Cola brand uh, changed the formula to make the Coca Cola and all the people say. I, I, yo extraño. I miss the flavor of Coca Cola, and that is the reason that I now drink Pepsi. In this case, the brand of Coca Cola falling down your sales because the flavor are uh, was different, fue diferente, and um, and the Pepsi uh, take this opportunity to uh, impulse the sales. And, and this is an effect that the reputation was good for Pepsi and bad for Coca-Cola. Uh, a few months uh, later, Coca-Cola decided to stop the production of the new formula and uh, recall to the, to the original formula. And they recover not at the same level, the sales, uh, because they they lose a, a, a lot of clients of customers. Okay. This is a, an, another case of um, um, bad and good decisions made it for uh, um, CEO of the different companies. Uh, when I when I Coca Cola change. Yeah, I Como? Okay, let me let me shake. Um uh, parachute jumping. Okay, I always want uh, want um parachute jumping and um flying and, and um, airplanes by me oops no not uh uh passenger pilot 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 type airplane yes mm -hmm. In my case, I always learn to English very good and very and very good and write very good, speak very good, and I I hope learn in this course. Okay. Okay. Exposed, they yeah. Um, they use all the the tactics or the um, benefits of the products, 
and explode this this uh, qualities, th these characteristics, to um, make a figure of the branding in the mind of the, the people. This is important because you uh, made the you make the the brand of your company more no knowledge, más conocida more knowledge uh -huh. or more uh, remember remember it. más recordable no sé si estoy diciendo bien memorable ah, more memorable. memorable thank you teacher okay you're welcome more memorable to remind or to or to to have in, in your mind uh, about um, that product yeah another example of 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 success maybe is in in the in products about um, um maybe toilets toilets or um washing hands lavamanos uh this is a standard is american standard is the most recognized uh, product or the most recognized logo about these products and you if you go to 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 buy a, um, a toilet, if you 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 can you can observe or you can watch in the different ferreterias, uh, hard hardware stores, uh, hardware stores, hardware stores, you can see American Standard and other brands in American Standard is the the design the most beautiful and the most extensive mm -hmm. this is another option another example okay guys um, um, can benefit for the positive or the negative exactly. for example for example Okay, Atilio, so you were actually telling us this, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Okay, guys. Let me see. Okay. So, uh, guys, before we go, how do you say impulsar? Ah. Impulsar. Impulse, but I I know that I have another sign on it. Impress. Well, mm -hmm. impress? Uh, mm, not exactly. Boost. What? Boost. 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 How do you say invertir? Invest. Invest. Very good. Pero How boost. do you say? Uh -huh. Sorry, boost. I only yes, uh, hear this. This impulse is a verb. Yes. Boost. Uh -huh. A boost, but boost is only mm -hmm. in, in, in beverage, in, in drinks, mm -hmm. like, like uh, Red Bull. Uh, mm -hmm. Not exactly. I mean, it could be interchangeably. Boost is interchangeably. It depends on the context. Impulse. Okay. Yes. All right, guys. And the last one, how do you say uh, ferreterias? Hardware stores. Hardware yeah. stores. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you very much for connecting today. Hardware stores. Hardware stores. Yes. Oh. All right, guys. Thank you very much for connecting today. I hope you have a good night. Take care, and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm. Good you. night. Good Rest. Night. Good night, guys. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night.